Hello, this is Mrs. Bobby, and we're going to be looking at multiplying mixed numbers. So we have to go back to a lesson just probably a few days ago. We have to make these into improper fractions first. So if you recall that, we have to take this denominator and multiply it by the whole number and then add the numerator. And then we're going to put it all back over the denominator. So we get 4, 5 over 2. We do the same thing right here. We have 4 times 1 plus 1, so that's 5 over 4. And then we're back to what we just did yesterday, which is 5 times 5 is 25, straight across multiplication. 2 times 4 is 8. But if you notice, we are top heavy. That means the numerator is larger than the denominator, and that is an improper fraction. So we have to fix this, just like we did a few days ago. How many eights go into 25? That would be 3, makes 24. How many leftovers? 1 over 8. Now, if you recall, that's like taking 25. Let me move this dot pen down just a little bit. That's like taking 25 and dividing it by 8. Goes in 3 times, make 24. One left over, 3 and 1 eighths. We just did this the other day. That is what you have to do to finalize a multiplying with mixed numbers. So I'm going to get rid of this. You can keep it in your notes. We're going to look at another one. Recalling all whole numbers go over 1. So we put a 1 underneath it. I'm just going to bring that down, keep that sign. And then I'm going to make an improper fraction out of this. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4 over 3. We're going to do some straight across multiplication. That gives us 12. This gives us 3. And how many bottoms go into the top? How many denominators go into that numerator? And it goes in nicely at 4 times with no fraction. So just the whole number because 3 times 4 is 12. Let's look at the next one. Denominator times the whole number. Add the numerator. So that's 12, 13 over 4. Keep that sign. 10, 11, 12 over 5. Okay. So then we have to do some math here. Um, we could do a little diagonal cross outs. Um, so we can kind of look at the diagonals and see if there's anything in common. Or we can go straight across multiplication. If we did a little diagonal cross out, we, 5 and 13 have nothing in common, but a 4 goes into a 4 once, and a 4 goes into a 12 three times. So 13 times 3 is 39, and 1 times 5 is 5. 5 goes into 39 seven times to make 35, with 4 fifths left over. Also known as 35 divided by 5 goes in 7 times 7 and four fifths. Okay, dot cam, write that. I'm just going to get rid of that. All whole numbers go over one. Three times two, six, seven, eight, eight thirds times five over one. No diagonals in common. So we have 40 over three. Three goes into that 13 times to make 39 with one left over, over three, also known as 40, divided by three, goes in once, bring it down, goes in one, nine times, nine, makes one, 13, and one third. So over here, remember, if you didn't like the diagonal crossouts, you can still do 13 times 12 and four times five, because 13 times 12, is 156, you would just have 156 over 20, and that would go in seven times to make 140, and then 16 twentieths left over, which we then can divide by four, and that's where the four fifths, seven and four fifths, same answer is right there. Okay, so remember, when in doubt, if you don't like diagonal crossouts here, you can just still go straight across 13 times 12, 4 times 5. That's just another way. This is just simplifying early. Or if you don't like this, then just write this. It's up to you. And as always, this is Mrs. Bobby, and I love math. Diet Coke.